the extensor compartment of the forearm, it includes uh, uh, two groups of muscles, the superficial group and the deep group. The superficial muscles are again subdivided into a lateral group and a posterior group. Altogether, we have seven superficial muscles in the extensor compartment of the forearm, which includes in the lateral group, we have three muscles. Uh, one is the brachioradialis, extensor carpi radialis longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis. And in the posterior group, we have four muscles like uh, we have extensor digitorum, then we have extensor digiti minimi, then we have the uh, extensor carpi ulnaris and the anconius. So, these are all the muscles uh, we see in the extensor compartment of the forearm and all the majority of these muscles are innervated by the posterior interosseous nerve which is a deep branch of radial nerve except brachioradialis, extensor carpi radialis longus um, and the anconius. These three muscles are innervated by the direct branch arising from the trunk of the radial nerve. So, I am here today to demonstrate all these uh, extensor muscles of the forearm on the cadaver which is also again an important exercise, minor exercise in the practical session. The superficial muscles of the extensor compartment of the forearm are arranged in two groups as I mentioned like we have a lateral group muscles. The lateral group muscles, the first muscle is this one, this is. So, this is the brachioradialis muscle. This brachioradialis muscle, uh, it takes origin from the upper two-thirds of the lateral supracondylar ridge and the lateral intermuscular septum. And when you see the insertion of this tendon, this tendon is inserted onto the base of the stylar process of the radius and this muscle is innervated by the radial nerve and the action of this brachioradialis muscle is it is a flexor of elbow and acts as best in the mid prone position. Okay, this is the brachioradialis. Next muscle is this, deep to this muscle you can see here this one, yeah. yeah. This is the extensor carpi radialis longus. This extensor carpi radialis longus, this muscle will take origin from the lower one thirds of the lateral supracondylar ridge and from the lateral intermuscular septum and this is inserted uh, uh, into the dorsal surface of the base of the second metacarpal bone and this muscle passes deep to this brachioradialis muscle. So, this is extensor carpi radialis longus and the nerve is supplied by radial nerve and the action of this muscle is it is an extension of the wrist and also it acts as abductor of the wrist. Then deep to this again you have this muscle, yeah. this one. So, this is the extensor carpi radialis brevis. This extensor carpi radialis brevis, it takes origin from the common extensor origin which is uh, in front of the lateral epicondyle. Okay and it also takes origin from the uh, radial collateral ligament of elbow joint and this muscle is inserted uh, onto the dorsal surface of the base of the second and third metacarpal bones and the nerve supply to this is by the posterior interosseous nerve. Action of this is it is an extensor and the abductor of the wrist and this muscle lies deep to the extensor carpi radialis longus, this muscle. So, these are all the three uh, lateral group of muscles, brachioradialis, this is extensor carpi radialis longus, this is extensor carpi radialis brevis. So, they are the three lateral group of muscles. Now, next we have this muscle, this is the extensor digitorum, this is the extensor digitorum. This extensor digitorum muscle, it takes origin from the lateral epicondyle and you know it forms a round belly, you can see this is the uh, rounded belly in the middle of the forearm and as it is reaching onto the dorsum of the hand, this muscle will divide into four digits, these are the four tendons for the medial four fingers and insertion of these tendons if you see, you know each tendon will form a triangular dorsal digital expansions, okay and these dorsal digital expansions has got a base and which forms a hood and get connected to the base of the proximal phalanx and the apex you know 
it trifurcates into a medial and lateral bands the medial median band will be attached to the base of the middle phalanx and the lateral band the two lateral bands will again fuse to form a single band and that get inserted onto the base of the distal phalanx okay now the action of these muscles these uh, this extensor digitorum the action is you know it's it acts as a prime movers of extension at the metacarpophalangeal joints and the interphalangeal joints and the nerve supply to this muscle is by the posterior interosseous nerve next we have uh, this muscle this is the extensor digiti minimi this extensor digiti minimi it's a, a slender muscle and which is the medial most part of the extensor digitorum and the origin is from the common extensor origin okay and this gets inserted onto the dorsal digital expansion of the little finger and the nerve supply is again by the posterior interosseous nerve and the action of this is <coughs> sorry it extends the little finger okay so this is extensor digitorum and this is extensor digiti minimi then more medially we have this muscle yeah this is the extensor carpi ulnaris this extensor carpi ulnaris muscle it takes origin from the lateral epicondyle from the common extensor origin and insertion of this tendon you know it inserted onto the tubercle on the medial side of the base of the fifth metacarpal bone and this muscle is innervated by posterior interosseous nerve and the action of this muscle is it acts as the extension of the wrist uh, the last superficial muscle is this one this is a triangular muscle can you see here this here now this is the anconius muscle this anconius muscle is a triangular muscle it arises from the posterior surface of the lateral epicondyle of the humerus and insertion you have it has it has got a broad base and which is inserted onto the lateral surface of the alacranon process of the ulna and also onto the upper one fourth of the posterior surface of the shaft of the ulna you see this muscle is inserted so this is anconius and the nerve supply of this muscle is it is supplied by the radial nerve um, through uh, the nerve which is supplying to the triceps medial head and the action of this muscle is it's an extensor of the elbow so these are all the um, muscles which you see in the superficial group of the extensor compartment of the forearm